Easy lane for Rollup and Pepinero because this bot lane is winning. However, Blue X shows up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's oh. happening here? Audrey. Audrey, whoa. Are you okay? Uh, I don't think so. That's okay, saying so a splash queued and then somebody knocked him back. Yeah, yeah. They've already built up this small gold lead. It's only six minutes in. Lulex is looking to extend that, but he's on a ward. Oh, this might get turned around in the counter gang. I want to watch how this plays out. Yarn has to flash. Very quickly. Godfrey now gets knocked back into the tower. He's going to tank a few shots, but Yarnin already a little bit low. Lulex coming around the side. There's a teleport. A flash from Audrey to move away. They've turned their attention to Godfrey. He's surely going to go down as they stack four members. H2K get another. Look at this. He has 39 to 65. Odoanwe gets bullied, but he's used to that. He's still a level ahead of Whirlip, even though he teleported through the bottom. Goes for the taunt, too. Whirlip, wow, that's a lot of damage coming out from Odoanwe, looking to take him on solo for just a minute. Too. Lulex is coming around the side. As long as he buys enough time, doesn't go down. But he might have overstepped his bounds. Odo, not quite no dead mana. just no yet. Mana. And in comes the barrel, knocking Whirlip back into the rest of the minions here. Odoanwe looking to finish him off himself, and he takes the kill up in the top lane. Number two for Odoanwe. But they never usually do. They Look usually wait for... They have to scale up. Whirlip. There we go. They've Lock got up, Ryu. Flash. Three members in. He's not going anywhere. Whirlip will get a kill back on him. Lulex a little late to the party. Instant ulti though from Odo Omni, but just not enough. A return play right here. Good read. And Odo Omni could go in for the top right here. Look at Ryu as well. He's moving up, trying to join his team. Whirlip is out of mana. And in comes the fat man. There's the barrel. There's the taunt. Whirlip baited right into it. And they do punish that flash. Although it takes him a little while. Odo Omni will get kill number three. Here. Pink ward from H2K and there's Bush here. So it's very easy for Ludic to move in and set up these ganks. Bot lane now, we talked about this TP play you could make. And then going for an R3, poor guy. They are. Odoamne comes on in. The guy is here, he's there, he's everywhere. And he gets kill number four. Now they're looking to finish off Godfred, who's going to hook his way to a wall. In comes the Fates call. Dodge away from the shock class. They could finish this tower. Let Pepinero walk his way back. it has been so much talk on Reddit about the current state of being an AD carry. Adri right now might want to go and make another post saying it's not very fun because he's getting absolutely destroyed and whoa! Pepinero too, they just chain these CCs like it's no one's business. And Ryu takes out Pepinero with the help of his team. Hope to get the Jinx a little bit of farm in between mid and that bottom lane is actually moving down towards it. Still, there's a lot of H2K members in here. Kasing is going to get that knock up. Now Whirlip being targeted out. Yarnin, he's got the sword on. In comes the Shen. They're going to try to make this Whirlip taken down. Godfred, Audrey now. Audrey's just completely blown up. Courtesy of Ryu, the Jinx gets set even further behind. And you want to teach him, show him the ropes, you know, but be able to help him when he overreaches from steps out of bounds, just like Audrey is doing right now. There's the Chompers, there's the Spirit Rush. Audrey right back to the safety of his team, but not enough. Ryu will finish him off, Pepinero gets knocked sideways, and now Godfrey's on the run, sends out the depth charge, but that doesn't have any damage. Godfrey is going down, Odo Wamne picks up another kill. Two for none. They really have been utilizing their sideways extremely well. Giants have done this in some of their games, but H2K have just been the typical masters of it. Now Audrey, there's the catch you're talking about. Finishes him off. All right, by the way. That game. was all right. Like. Almost two teleports available if he needs them. I really like what Giants is doing here, though. They're saying we're not going to beat you one on one, two v two. So if we do get a chance, oh, we'll play, okay. Audrey, we've seen that before. Do you still like it? Yet another. I didn't like the recall. The sh Rise and Vision, you know if he's going to TP in. Remember, H2K is the one starting the fight, so they can always TP first. Looking oh, the one that got stopped. Ooh, almost got to safety, but not in time. One down. They go back to it again. The same. Just thinking we're still able to get one for none. You gotta be careful to dodge those peppy shock blasts. One of them did take a big bite out of Yarnin's HP and the Fates call, sending it onto Frederick. They should be able to take him down here, pinning balling him around as Ryu takes a seventh kill. Audrey hiding in the bush, it'll all happen. Yeah. Fight or in the skirmish, and now Giants, desperate times call for very, very desperate measures. Putting the death brush, Lulex wanted. They can't even kill close. him. They need to go for Killista. They are going to go for Yarnin, and he will go down. Loses that Baron buff. That's the start of something as Lulex throws a big barrel on himself. Charm not going to land, but H2K should be able to get out of here. Slow march, though. Go for the knockup. Look for Lulex. Into Rune Prison he goes. They will get two here. This could be the start of something. Giants just tripled their kill count in that fight. Because they going to stop the recalls because Odon is still pushing. Two guys are going to stop him, though. So very well played. From Giants for Pepe. Pepe though. Yep, goes to the skies and goes back to Fountain. Ryu with yet another kill. A double onto Audrey, his 10th of the game. This guy is unstoppable. 
we looked at in champs like being like, oh, this can be super risky. This comp can really dive so effectively. It's what decided the game for H2K. Giants will have to go back and look at that thing, ban phase, and then they might die as well. And if they even have a chance, down goes Wurlub. Another pick off. They take down this time. It's Frederick looking for Audrey. Ooh. He never has a chance again. A oh, big one from Ryu as Odo comes around the side. Godfrey all by himself gets him a triple. And Pepe has just given up on Fountain. This game is all over. 32 minutes in. And all they need to do is polish it off. Such a strong oh. performance. Oh, look at that. Oh. Charm flash. Got the charm. Pepe, no. All the way out. There's the ace. It cost him a cow, but they don't mind. Nexus turrets being fired down. H2K, 33 minutes into this game, will secure themselves a win and sole possession of that third place. Top three for this team. The Wolves, they'll need to snowball. Shook will need to find one of those key opening first plots that he always gets for the Wolves, and then you need to see, have they improved their shot calling? Because it was dire last week. Yes, it was. Very, very dire indeed. But it's a new game, it's a new week. Why don't you guys tell us what you think about it? Hashtag CW win or hashtag EL win. Will the Wolves avoid themselves to be in the relegation spot, or will elements be the ones who move themselves closer to the playoffs? On to find out as we're loading up right now onto the Rift. A lot of power in your support. Bit of a fight here. Uh oh, taps. It's the wrong way, Tap. Uh, he's gonna get taunted up. In comes Shook to teleport, but it might be too late as Jay Wow Flame Spitters on. They just keep their attention turned to Tabs. The Harpoon wasn't gonna get intercepted, and that's first blood over to Lenny. Some even more experience falling right into his pocket. And Shook and Lenny should have enough power to take down Jay Wow, but Froggen is here, and he manages to get one. Revenge there for Elements. He has to respect this gang. Meanwhile, though, Jay Wow might get made a little bit forward. He's going to go up through the minions and kick Jay Wow back. Throws down the equalizer, try and cover his tracks. He's got the flash. He will use it, but so will Shook. Goes in, secures the kill. Dexter's too late. Goes in for the flash, though. Queen's Wrath and safe yeah, Froggen. Over Froggen's Lenny. coming. Froggen's coming in. There's the arrow. Can it pierce? Looking for Shook. Not going to connect, but he's now going the wrong way. Going to run right into the waiting arms of Nif. The Lantern, Blaze, Shook, this time no flash, he goes down. A one for one yet again. Textbook, extended siege composition, double poke, one of each kind. Dexter, however, he goes a little bit deep here. Like. Freeze and Kass, he's trying to juke away from them, but he goes down immediately, teleport, comes a bit late. As Froggen will manage to equalize a kill, but a jungler for support is a poor trade. What they call very long lanes. However, Tabs, find himself overextended a little bit. Yep. You have the Shen delivery system. And in he goes. There's going to be Tabs trying to get out with a Valkyrie, but way too late. Four Wolves collapse on him. You know they travel in packs. Why were you that deep? Yes, he pushes that out. He pushes that out again. He will initiate another slow push. They're gonna go the Wolves are going for Baron. Very quick desperation move. This will prompt Elements into action. Teleport pretty far out. Koss a little bit low. Nif gonna send a hook. Lands on Freeze, but he's got the spell shield on. Shook goes in. Equalizer is gonna burn him down. It's Froggen who actually gets the kill credit. And Koss goes down. Lenny, Sor, and Freeze all on the back. Running away. Nif can't connect a hook. Lenny flashes the wall, but he's out of the fight. Emperors divide. Elements will get no more kills, but they easily stop that Baron. And they can start it off themselves. Yeah, and you were right. Calling it a desperation baron is exactly what it was for the Wolves. Because they ran out of options. They had no split push going, no alternative. They wanted to catch Element sleeping. Maybe one or two members were in base. So he was obviously still has teleport available. Yeah, they could do whatever they want. 1-3-1. One, one. Honestly, I prefer Elements right now. Having no teleport or flash on JWoww, I would just opt for a 5v0. Perhaps 4-1. Four, four I don't think splitting up your members all that useful. Shook might go in here, though. Looking for it, see if they yeah. can secure it. Not going to be able to take away the dragon. Secured by Dexter. Fight is on. Koss pulled back. Chains of Corruption onto Lenny. See if they can finish him off. Koss gets thrown back in, only to be burned down and shot through the heart by Froggen. In comes Dexter. Looks for Lenny. He goes in. He goes down. That's a kill to Tabs. Two for none. Froggen might be blinking, but Elements have got Wolves. Already on the back foot, another kill with an equalizer, and Soren is out of the picture. That equalizer was just straight up dirty. Doesn't look like a whole lot can stop them at the moment. The Baron empowered minions are marching forward. Soren shook. Goss, Lenny, Freeze, they're all here. But can they really stop it? Soren goes in, tries a shuffle, only succeeds in absolutely nothing. And Soren on the front after Izanya's burned away. A valiant attempt ends in disaster, and Elements. 
Just wait for another mini wave or not. The entire Impulse element top. squad is showing how easy it is to land. Skill shots, stationary golden target. Bit of a waste, but don't really need it. Elements now looking to close out that first Nexus Tower. Uh, not Nexus Tower, Inhibitor Tower. 33 minutes into the game. Very slow. Slow and steady is the race, they say. I haven't given up too much for it either. Two towers on the game so far, four kills. Niff goes forward, immediately point blank hook onto the Shen. Dexter steps a little forward, out of bounds. Freeze punishes him for it, but nonetheless, right back to his team. Easy inhibitor take. They just don't have the punishing power, and the Wolves continue to be pushed in. Kaos just disappeared right there. Safe build from Froggen this time. Hasn't been punished whatsoever. 100% kill participation on that, too. Froggen, maybe that's about to change if he's caught out a little bit hard. Gets, cooked, gets kicked by Shook, but... Shook is intent on finishing him off here, and he will get him. There's the shutdown gold. It goes over to Freeze. Meanwhile, the tower is going to fall in the mid. Copenhagen and Wolves do manage to get a little bit here. Some misplays by Elements. Good play by Freeze. Sadly, a little bit late. They're using this opening with Froggen down to maybe get a tower in the base of Elements, though. They just might do it, though. Still going very far forward. JWoww goes forward with a golden burn. And now the Wolves have to scurry away as fast as they can. Froggen takes a shot on Akas, gets him down. A double kill as he finds Soren as well. The Wolves, in their desperate attempt to finish an inhibitor, might get aced themselves. Lenny and Freeze on the run. Dexter marching forward at the front. The arrow still hits Lenny, and the chase is still going. Damn it, Nif with the Superman. Whenever you proc a hook on a black shield, they keep moving, but your tether is still connected. But he, yeah, he, he pussy it out. Terrible task for Shook, honestly, to play Lee Sin into Trash who could play, or not. Or maybe just go right on forward. He's gonna get taken down. Meanwhile, Freeze was able to pick off Nip, but a teleport now coming in for JWoww. Lenny looking for Froggen. He's gonna get melted. Kaos actually picks the kill off, not before an equalizer drops, and Dexter comes in. A big pushback uh, from the Emperor of Shurima. Elements, what is going on? They've lost three for Shook. This is one of those moments where I was talking about how hard it is for Shook to go in. Chooses to use them, but he's gonna have to act fast. Baron late. already at half health. The Wolves will not get here in time. This is going down. Elements managed to get themselves a Baron as the Wolves come Ooh. a little late to the party. In comes Freeze, in comes Lenny, in comes Kaz, but they're just gonna serve themselves up on a plate. That's gonna be one, two down. Freeze nearly burning as well. The hook doesn't connect on Soren, but man, is it close. Freeze hopping, skipping, jumping as much as he can. Soren tries to get the pushback, but he might sacrifice himself. Goes golden on it as JWoww takes down Shook, and the Wolves have all but fallen as Freeze, the only one left. That might be the game right there. In comes Dexter. The Wolves didn't come to play League of Legends. They're doing sightseeing. This is maybe the fifth objective that they just stand around, watch it go down. Freeze, he fates calls his Morgana, which has a black shield to dodge that hook. Then he walks straight into the hook. Sacrifices his life. Of course, it's gonna be hard for Cast to shield him when you're stuck as a ghost. I mean, that's Fate's call. Misplay on multiple ends by the Wolves and Elements. Looking to close out this game. Should be able to do it just shy of 40 minutes. They make their mid game fight count. A last stand for the Wolves, but Cast is already burning. Fate's call pulled back in, but it doesn't matter when the Nexus is going down. They can't do it. And Elements come far up, so we'll have to see. Definitely, but he wants to, to get a little beefy at least. He, will, he wants to get stronger, but we'll see about that later. For now, though, guys, that is all for the picks and bans. The team comps are locked in, so why don't you at home tell us who you think is going to walk away with a win here. Will it be the Unicorns? If so, hashtag UOL win. If SK can make their climb back up out of relegation territory, tweet hashtag SK win. As this game gets underway, we'll find out who's going to win as we load up onto the rift. SK Gaming taking on the Unicorns of Love. Fox and Jason. Helios looking to stop that right now. Gate is used, so can't speed himself up. And Power of Evil still pushing the poke. Another missed connection, but Gilius is going to flash for it anyways. In comes Sven to turn it right around. Gilius knocked back, and Sven Skaren will finish him off. First blood, the spear connects. Sven Skaren thinks about going under tower, but he won't. His body. He's telling him yes. Good move, honestly. Listen to his mind. By Fox. Good move by Candy Panda and Unrated, and they're not losing anything because if ULs choose to push up, they expose them to a potential flank. This is exactly what's happening. In comes the Valk, stopped for just a moment. The taunt is avoided, but Hilly is still going down. Bardax lands the traps, lands the zap, but helps too late in coming. Ooh. And now the Jace is on the chase. Fox to the skies, and he takes down Bardax.
Good read by Sven. He knows if you play action around bottom right side, that leaves your top left side exposed. Always mirror map place. Or Freddy, he's going by Jachi. Flashed away, and Freddy wasn't really aware of it at the time. Sven is going to be able to back him up, however. Leaps on and takes down the Rumble. Another kill. Freddy with the illustrious Confusion Rock. SK Gaming, they look to be setting up to catch Hillsang in this pincer, and he realizes his doom a little too late. Walks into the Shock Blast, and the Taunt gets the box down, but he won't save his life. And that's about it for the support player. Good roam again by Enrada, then he's opening up his playstyle. So the one is. issue I have with it is if SK doesn't play this style, if you can push them back early, Spencer can seem a little lost sometimes. Fox. It's not a problem for United. Just yet. In comes the stand United. Sven Garen looks to pick on Gilius, but Visit Chachi came in on the back of it. Gilly Fox will knock Gilius, but he gets kicked back. The right rocket hits him in the face. It's a one for one, but the skirmish is on. And Sven Garen going a little low. Drew Shot Barrage. Candy is going to flash right in front of it. Luckily That's for momentary. Candy Panda, you can't get hit by Drew Shot Barrage twice. Coming out fierce. And this is the, the progress we were looking at the past few weeks already, but they just kept. Having these. Uh oh. On. Sven Scarin. He didn't get the jump. No energy on Gilius, this though. There we go. He's out of it. He gets kicked back. So close to taking him down. Courtesy of the Rune Glaive. And Fox will manage to finish the job. Power of Evil gets away from the spear. The rocket connects on Sven's back. But it doesn't finish the job. SK's playing well together in unison. Good synergy here. Billy, though, is looking to make a pick on the Candy Panda. The hook goes completely the wrong direction as he predicted incorrectly where he was going to go. Now, overextending just a little bit. Freddy has his Gnar bar all the way. Gets, almost gets the hit, but he gets the big Gnar onto Vardags, and Sven Skerritt secures the kill. They might be looking towards the bottom. Now, Gilius trying for some counter jungling, but Sven is going to find him and take him down. He doesn't even need the red buff. He goes ahead and gives that one over to Fox. Now, Gilius trying for some counter jungling, but Sven is going to find him and take him down. He doesn't even need the red buff. He goes ahead and gives that one over to Fox. If he's not in the top right jungle, because we just walked there, if he's not in the bottom right jungle, because we have wards there, he must be on the left side. Hillisang, though. Freddy is ignited. Freddy is in Sang trouble, United. but he's got a Shen at his back. He's gone Meganar. The tables are turning. Unicorn's been off way more than they could chew, and the Equalizer won't do enough. The Rock, Sven Skarin pulled in. There's the play taken down. No tower to fall back to. SK Gaming, keep on rolling. Defense, but Sven Skarin's fine with that, because all he needs is offense. Mm -hmm. he this, game, camps away. this game, offense is the best defense for him. Well, they might get caught for just a second, going a little far forward. Going to leap over the wall. Freddy's there for the defense. The spear is going to connect. The reinforcements have arrived, and Chachi is going down. Fox is hooked in. True Shot Barrage comes in. The rockets are flying. Unicorns are firing the heavy artillery, but it's just not enough as the double kill comes in for Fox. Gilius tries to make the outplay. Will be able to finish off Sven Skarin. Shut it's going to be a one for three, though. Uh-oh. 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 Goodbye. Fox with another. Can they push it onwards? Can they close out? Got some damage. Will they shot Barrage. Rocket, not enough. Equalizer isn't. Neither is finally. He Valks right into the tip of the Equalizer, and Chachi will finish off the elusive Corky, but Freddy's still putting pressure in the bottom, or in the mid, I should say. Unicorns have a member advantage, but it's only for 20 seconds. Yeah, lapse in judgment. You can see SK peel back here. Uh -oh. Chachi. Why not last? He's still stunned. The hook's going to come in. Chachi. The trying. He can't do it. He's taunted forever. And down he goes. Power of Evil took some damage on top of it. SK, they're just so far ahead, they've got this damage. And unicorns are scattering the moment they see him. Beautiful analogy right there. And this, well, honestly, was the perfect scenario for unicorns. Their support face takes, but survives. Everybody chases into an equalizer, but it wasn't enough. Round two. And Chachi gonna burn his flash. Won't be enough. Sven Skarin manages to take him down. Unicorns again scattering the... Freddy's on the bottom there, pushing in two waves at once. Gilius trying to push back, but Freddy is stacking his Narbar. Meanwhile, the rest of SK is in the mid. Freddy manages to take it down. Gilius getting pushed back by the Boomerang. Vardex trying to turn him away, but they're not defending this. In comes the big Nar, knocks Vardex, gets a stun into the Shock Blast. They take him down. Freddy is eating the lasers, but he's still tanking through it. It's like a bad monster movie, and they get two for one and an inhibitor on top. But Freddy's build, look at it, he has frozen mallet. Usually you talk about whether they go frozen mallet or black cleaver or the defensive option. Freddy just goes with all of them. 
He goes full on offense. He looks like gets poked out. SK are looking to close out this game. They might be able to do it here. We're not even 25 minutes in. This is going to be a big one now as SK Gaming will finish off the last Nexus turret. Goes in for the taunt. Blows up Hillisang. And now only Power's there to defend. He can't do it. 25 minutes in. SK Gaming with the win. 11 losses. Forgiven has been two of them. I'm not a believer, Deficio. We'll have to find out whether or not it can be proven right. Jump on Twitter, let us know. Hashtag GMBWin or hashtag OGWin. Origin, they're already in the playoffs. Will they get one step closer to clinching that semi-final position? Gambit want to say no. Gambit also want to break the Lucian <laughs> losing streak. But obviously, Death Cow now it is more expensive. Word stuff as well. It's a bit harder to get there. We might see a filler item in the middle. Now, Betsy is going to get ganked. Here comes Amazing. Can he find the knockup? Yes. Betsy's going to flash away. Amazing flashes forward. First blood to Captain Peke. Diamond wants a reply. The knockup doesn't connect there. There's a pounce from Diamond Prox. Going to put down the heel. Looking for a follow up. Got whoa, into the tower. Peke, will he get the double? The minions going to help out. Two for two. Two for two. Pekka got the kills. Diamond got the kills as well. He managed to follow it. Two v two. Level sixes have been secured. Cabochard's caught. Diamond's coming in from the side as Cabochard gets knocked up twice. Now they turn their attention to Diamond Prox. And amazing. Got there first. They've got the kill. A little bit of miscommunication, it seemed. Right, let's talk about that up. Diamond Prox deciding the bottom lane may be the scene of the next gank. He's going to go around the river out of vision, so Origin might be in trouble. Yeah, Mythic does not have access to the Glacial Fish, and he's been knocked back. Goes through with a flash engage. Mythic is going to put up the giant wall, but it is breakable. Niels not going to aggressively go forward. And that means it's a kill to Diamond. Production which you need. So he's going to delay his core late game items a little bit, but he's going to be stronger right now at this given time. And that's obviously where Origin likes to really shine in the mid game. And now Soas is in trouble. Diamond and Cabo are jumping on. There's going to be the Void Rush. Amazing's come in. He's knocked up Cabo shot. Soas still trying to get away. Chilling Smite is down. That's a shock blast from the side. Betsy's found Soas. Hammer goes down on Amazing. With the help of the tower, double kill for Betsy. Betsy roamed early because it was Gambit starting the gank. So they could set it up in advance and say, Betsy, start moving in case we need you. He flashed Shock Blast onto Source, but his mid lane or his mid tower might go down. Fighting the bottom lane as well, Trevor. Breakable comes MTP. out. Teleports coming down from Cabochard, not using Stand United. Valk away from Niels as Mithy needs to put down the Glacial Fissure. He won't even get a chance. And Gambit, 6 to 3. Split, push out the waves and then group together and like get maximum farm on your carries. They couldn't do that because of it. And they got shut down. Gamma looking to do the same again. We still split up in lanes. Diamond is chasing. Diamond's so chasing. Now. Pounce. Pounce. Diamond's gonna pounce. Dredge line comes out. He's gonna pounce some more. One more. So as sidestep. Diamond's looking for the rune glaive auto. It's not gonna be enough. The shield comes up. Stand United will save Diamond Prox's life. Diamond really. Baron secured, as we mentioned a few minutes ago. All the items are now starting to stack up. And almost every member of Gambit has got pink wards in the inventory. Uh, wait. Well, you got a death cap now. And when you have a hat on, you kill people. That looked like it hurt. Continuing that losing streak. Instead, again, you want to land the poke before these objectives. And you like want to try and create the numbers advantage with the shim. But that's not going to happen now because there's five members of Morgan. But the fight is on. Gravity Field's going to block the entry into the jungle. Not going to stop Gosu. The first frag will be secured onto Soaz as Lucian gets it. Dragon focused down by Gambit. Amazing might even go down. Amazing's going to be able to tunnel away. Hourglass comes out. Chaos Storm may be enough. Diamond Prox manages to pounce away as Betsy is focused out by Niels and Peke. It's so far a two for two as the flash torn from Cabo keeps Niels in place. And Earth, Earth, Earth is trying to get away. Gambit siege down another tower. Niels is doing the... Home guard comes out for so as he's looking for the dredge line. Holding the trigger. Connects onto a minion. He's going to flash forward to bonk for giving on the hit. And Niels gets the kill credit. All right, Origin responding in the end here, but Origin won the... Sorry, get... Flash popo wise from, from the Shen taunt. Like, there's so many ways to catch multiple guys if Origin group up. And that becomes tricky for them when they're behind now. 
Origin split up. Peck is so far away, but Gambit of Peel, that's a two-man taunt, and Diamond, plus Forgiven, have already dropped Miffy. Glacial Fisher did not even come out. Diamond tosses a javelin, and that's two quick kills. Why was Peck down the bottom lane? I guess he was trying to take a blue buff and then realized Gambit just already started the Baron. He's here now. Can Origin do anything to stop it? Kabashar's TPing in. Kabashar's looking for a target. He's called Brecker! The culling culls him! Diamond manages to get the kill. Gambit back away. Fisher not used. Chaos Storm not used. Origin are out of sorts. That's the thing we didn't highlight in the start. Pekka is running with Ignite, so a very aggressive summoner. Didn't get to use it in the laning phase, and instead, the lack of cleanse against the Shen becomes super, super important in late game. Niels manages to get a kill onto Gosu, but it is nothing but consolation. This Gambit get the Baron. And that's the second time this game. We're 31 minutes. Three members of Gambit continuing to siege the accelerated shock boss. Chunks out amazing. Wave clears going low. Niels is picking a jewel with Forgiven. It's not gonna work out. That is a giant oh! cow. The Ignite pulverized. Goes to taxis through a minion and takes Niels out. Stand United's coming down from Cabochon. Goes who's looking for more. Unbreakable has been used. Gambit have cracked open the base. Goes who's in trouble without Unbreakable Will. And the Fisher does nothing. Gambit have already started to back away as Diamond I lie gets oh. slowed by the Fisher before he tastes Miffy. Taunt is sidestepped by Amazing, but Inhibitor's down. Betsy soloed Peke. A little bit of help from Gosu, and now Gambit, they're gonna be pushing, they're pushing for the win. That's a flash double taunt. Works out, Cabochard catches. Onto the kill on Soaz and Gambit. Take down the first Lucian Nexus hype. turret. Lucian. Looks to be picking up the first win of the summer Not split. Yet. Not yet. Oh, I'm getting too excited. 18 to 10 in kills. Culling's going out, but Niels has got the reach end of the fountain. Deficio, Gambit are backing away. It's not done yet. Go back. Uh, the, the coin, rather. As well as Righteous Glory, he can run down whoever he wants to. Yeah. Mithy will be the target. Glacial Fisher comes out. So is his. Gonna connect with a little dredge line, and Mithy chunked so, so low from that javelin toss. So is already has to retreat. Gosu still unhurt on the front line. The giant cow walking through Origin's front lines. The ninth kill of the game for Diamond. Another base gonna get focused down. Flashes from Gambit. They want to end the game right now. They want to end the Lucian losing streak. Gambit have got super minions pushing towards them. One Nexus turret stands between them and a victory. Gambit look to be crushing the league's number two team. Finish so I can have a win moment. <laughs> <laughs> we need Lucian to win a game. It's going to happen. The turret's being focused. Watch out, so Gambit you. are going to tie fourth place and are one step closer to the playoffs. And they may be disappointed tomorrow, which is what they've been doing all split long. Great game, bad game. Great game, bad game. They need a great game to beat tonight, that's for sure. Hashtag ROC win if you think they will have that great game. Or hashtag FNC win. Will Fnatic remain undefeated in the summer splits with Riven in the hands of... He's got a CS advantage, 30 more CS. And this is what we're gonna do. Steve is in trouble, gold card connects, the knockup comes out, Rainover's first blood. I see what Nukedog is doing though, trading with Febben. Well, seems to be winning that trade quite heavily, but did need to use the chain of corruption. Ace in the hole! Oh! Almost, but nice. Regis also right. managed Destiny to get Destiny has been used. Steve's been gold carded. Hooney stunned him. Valor wind slash. Not even going to be needed. I just want people to notice when Fibberman is using his ult. Nukejok, um, it's been a bit of a bully. So here's the replay. Q ulti, yeah. Beautiful. Well, this is what we said in picks and bats. Nukejok's Varus. Oh! Nobody saw that, Feb. Except lowest against Fnatic of the split. Because this is the team fight. Twisted Fate is up. Febiv is looking for the kill. Hooney's gonna Valor forward. Wind Slash plus one more wild card. Hooney, the shield saves his life. Once again, look at the minimap. Where is Rocket? And now Mr. Rallis. 
Gonna flash away, pulverize up, that's gonna interrupt the net. Reckless is looking for the kill as Rawls gets headbutted towards the wall. The mother Vanda is not gonna be able to save Mr. Rawls' life. Will keep himself up while that was going on. Steve got dropped underneath the tower. Here comes Yankos, a new challenger appears and it's super effective. Nuketa gets the kill. One slash is thrown across by Huni for the damage and nothing else. Tower defended, one for two. That's one of the ways you can maybe start landing some poke, but you still gotta respect the potential flank from Huni. You have no control over the map. There's so many ways he can TP in, or you can just start the fight like this. Revivant's coming in. We see the gold corner. Nuke Duck, the mother van is not gonna save the lives of Rockat again. Reckless has got a kill. A three man stun from the key strike. That's a huge team fight for Fnatic. Double kill for Huni. Double kill for Reckless. And they're gonna peel for Baron. Fnatic has been getting everything. We just mentioned how if you start grouping, Huni can flank because Rugged obviously have so little control over the map. What happens? Fnatic start to fight. Huni walks in. This is what I wanted them to do around Dragon instead of risking getting stolen, but I take it this is fine. Such a good team fight for Fnatic. And I mean, yeah, Vanda, you have a monsoon, but that's not enough. Again. Giant's belt plus hourglass. Look at this. Febivin pushing top lane as the rest of Fnatic now have an opening into the base. Very clear they want to get supers to help out this continued siege. That's a flash forward from Yellowstar. He's gone to the headbutt, pulverized. Destiny is being channeled from Febivin. And Steve is going golden in the middle of the fight. Febivin's been able to stay alive for a few seconds before they've traded lives. One for one. Inhibit is down and Fnatic look like they'll be happy to escape. Chain of corruptions onto Huni. He will get focused down. Two for one at the cost of an inhibitor. Very nice ulti from Nuke Dark here. That Rocket just managed to get away from Huni, then lock him down as well. Fnatic diving in while paying attention to the inhibitor at the same time. Right. Monsoon's up for Vanda as a little form of disengage, but that is it. Gold card will take a tower out. Piercing arrow not going to connect, nor will the fat man body slam. For a slow and steady finish, Fnatic waiting for the supers to get in. <laughs> PvE almost. Rocket may as well not ah, be involved. Got Yellowstar the misses the engage. Huni's looking for more. He gets cast underneath the laser. Rocket get a kill, but they will lose <laughs> their nexus. Fnatic remain undefeated at 15 and 0.